A sophomore from River Road High School has been invited to attend this year's Congress of Future Medical Leaders. The conference is a chance for high achieving high school students to learn from some of our nation's leading medical professionals. It's an invitation only event, meaning only the best of the best students are sought out. KMR Local 4's Meredith Avery tells us why Jonathan Malota is excited about this opportunity. At first, I didn't even know. I never heard of it before. And my dad was like, it's a scam. <laughs> but um, whenever we started looking into it, I was like, this would be a great opportunity. And I agreed with her. Jonathan Malata might have been upset if he missed this once in a lifetime opportunity, especially since he worked so hard to earn it, even if he didn't know what he was earning. Well, I was actually mailed a letter inviting me to it. They just looked at my schoolwork, they looked at my grades and what I had been involved in previously, and I guess they made a decision from that. Assistant Principal Rachel Freeman wasn't surprised. She says Malata is your ideal student. He is um, extremely intelligent, very quiet, always does what he's supposed to be doing, and has an impeccable work ethic. In fact, Freeman admits she was a little green with envy. Um, when I read that he was going to get to meet some of those Nobel Prize winners and um, the speakers that he was going to get to hear, um, I was extremely jealous of him. Malata will get the chance to hear from leading industry professionals while getting the opportunity to network with future mentors and employers. And to truly decide if I want to be for sure a biomedical engineer or maybe I want to switch to another medical field study. For Malata, the medical industry has been a lifelong interest and passion. I think I've wanted to be one ever since I was little, and I saw my uncle whenever he got diabetes, and he had to have both of his legs amputated. And they gave him prosthetics, but for starters, they were extremely expensive, and they just left sores that were worse than, like, the actual amputation, I think. He was forced to live out of a wheelchair. Malata is grateful for the opportunity, while Dad is grateful the opportunity of a lifetime wasn't spam after all. He's really glad he didn't throw it away. When we asked Malata what exactly he wants to do after earning a biomedical engineering degree, he said he wants to invent new ways to administer medicines and also help create medicines with less side effects. In studio, Meredith Avery for KAMR, Local 4 News. A happy ending considering we get so much spam mail, you know, you so get much all, junk mail. all much, mm -hmm. all this stuff and then to follow through with it and it, what a wonderful opportunity. Melota will be heading up to Boston for the conference in June.